Sometimes players get their jersey numbers based on their positions on the field. Other times it's just because that's what's available. But sometimes there's way more to it than meets the eye. Here are some of the iconic stories behind NFL players getting their jersey numbers. The jersey number might have been retired by both teams Peyton played for, but him wearing it from the start was anything but random. The Manning family is easily one of the biggest NFL dynasty families. It won't even be far-fetched to say it's a name that transcends worldwide. Between the three Mannings, Archie, Peyton, and Eli, who have played in the NFL, there have been two College Football Hall of Fame inductions, three SEC Player of the Year awards, 20 cumulative Pro Bowl selections, four Super Bowl victories, and three Super Bowl MVP awards. These aren't even all the honors, but here's the thing. The number 18 has been in circulation in the family. Archie Manning first wore the number 18 during his college days at Old Miss in the 1960s. Fair to say he graduated as a legend and the university posted speed limits of 18 miles per hour around the campus in his honor. It was a no-brainer to wear the number when his oldest son Cooper began playing college football at his dad's alma mater. Only Cooper never got the chance to even pursue his dad's legacy. This was due to a spinal stenosis diagnosis in his freshman season that ended his football career. So, when Archie's middle son Peyton got into the NFL, he picked the number 18 as a tribute to both his dad and his older brother. Fair to say, Peyton did the number proud. We mean both Indy and Denver retired the jersey number 18 after the sheriff hung up his cleats for good. By the time Eli got to Ole Miss, the number 18 was already retired by his dad. With that, he chose to go with the number 10 as it was just available. After getting drafted by the Giants, Peyton's spotlight was already huge, so Eli decided to keep 10 to forge his own path. Talk about living up to the family name. Up next, we have a player in jersey number story that didn't quite age well, but still the circumstances around the number deserve mentioning. Yes, we mean the same sixth round draft pick who has been released twice in just four years of his NFL career. When Darwin Thompson got drafted by the Kansas City Chiefs in 2019, franchise great Jamal Charles had just concluded his final season with the Chiefs. Jamal was leaving as the franchise's all-time leader in rushing yards, having worn the number 25 jersey for nine seasons. Thompson got to meet Charles during a pre-draft visit with the team, got his number, and upon getting drafted four days before Charles' retirement, he asked the legend for the number, saying, I just wanted to ask him, you just retired, you're really the GOAT. I grew up watching you at Texas and now Kansas City. I wanted to know if it was okay if I wore it. Jamal gave the green light and Thompson later said, It was all love, but now it's just 2-5. I got to make it mine now. Just do what he did and go much beyond that. Let's just say he didn't do that. Not even a bit. Just a matter of months later, the Chiefs signed running back LaShawn McCoy after his release from the Buffalo Bills. Coincidentally, number 25 has also been McCoy's number all of his career. So with that, Darwin Thompson gladly gave the 10-year veteran his number, picking the number 34 and saying, I got 34 now and that's what I'm going to roll with. When you wear 34, you think of Walter Payton and Bo Jackson. The number 34 is good to me didn't do that either as he got released the following year and has since found it hard to get a solid roster spot in the NFL. Trying to draw to Darwin Thompson. Does he get there? On the flip side of the coin, we have an active player coming up next who's done quite well both before and after the number he wears. Since getting drafted, Bashard Buda Baker has been a standout player in the NFL. The Arizona Cardinals safety made the all-rookie team two first-team All-Pro selections, and is a five-time Pro Bowler. But that's not all. Even with his jersey number, this dude stands out as one of the first safeties wearing single digits in the NFL. Baker has spoken about the importance of jersey numbers to him, saying, I take numbers very seriously. Here's the thing, though. Can we really take Baker's statement seriously, given that he's already worn three numbers in his first five seasons? That's right. He first wore the number 36 jersey when he got drafted. Then when Tyran Mathau left the Cardinals the season after, Baker paid to get the number 32 jersey that Mathau left behind. That we can understand since that was Baker's college jersey number. But then, ahead of the 2021 season, he announced he was switching jersey numbers again. This time to a number 3 jersey. 
turns out that Buddha is such a big fan of NBA legend Allen Iverson that he was willing to change his jersey number to the answer. He's done all right wearing the jersey so far, so maybe he'll be the next NFL Allen Iverson who's known for breaking ankles. Akers will try once more. Akers, ball pops out, the ball loses at the goal line. The Cardinals have it. For some, it's just about another athlete they love, while for some, their jersey number is something more personal. An example of the second category is, yup, it's the same number three, but for New York Giants wide receiver Sterling Shepard, the number has a deeper meaning. From day one, Sterling has tried to honor his late father, Derek Shepard. He played for Oklahoma like his father, and when he got drafted as a second round pick, Sterling chose the number 87, a number his dad had won during his time in the NFL between 1987 and 1991. Derek died when Sterling was just six years old due to a sudden heart attack. But the number three always had more value to the younger Shepard. His dad had worn the number at Oklahoma going from a walk-on to a starting wide receiver for the 1985 National Championship team. After the heart attack in 1999, the Sooners sent Sterling a helmet with the number three on it. He wore that number throughout his budding football years from Pop Warner all the way to his days as a Sooner himself. Clearly, the number had a lot of meaning to him. So as soon as the NFL reviewed the rules about numbers in April 2021, there was no question what number Shepard would hop on. After making the switch, he said, It's something I've always wanted to do, and it feels good just to be able to honor him in that way. Wearing the number three and having the Shepard on the back of my jersey. And I'm sure he would be proud of me as far as I've come so far. Former Cincinnati Bengals linebacker Hardy Nickerson Jr. also shared a jersey number with his dad wearing the number 56. Hardy Nickerson Sr. was a five-time Pro Bowl and four-time All-Pro linebacker. But in his own case, he didn't even realize it was his dad's number until later. He just thought it was a cool number for a linebacker and grabbed it. He said it was just a coincidence it was the same as his dad's. But this still seems more intentional than the last player in today's video who got his number and thought it was a joke. Corey Davis was the number five overall pick, but his jersey number story is one for the books. Not because it has any sentimental value, but because it literally has none. And to make it crazier, it didn't just start in the NFL, but it dates back to his illustrious college football days. Corey thought it was a prank when he had just joined the Western Michigan team and was given the number. His older brother, Titus Davis, had attended Central Michigan and wore the number during his time there. So when Corey was kicking off his freshman season, he got the jersey number 84 and he thought it was a prank. To understand the full scope of why he thought it would be a prank, Central Michigan is Western Michigan's biggest rival. Titus had been a major part of that rivalry during his college days, so it just didn't make sense to give his brother the same jersey number. Corey once said in an interview, I kind of thought they did it on purpose because he had the same number too, so we just kind of stuck with it and made it ours. Corey definitely did the number proud, becoming the NCAA Division I FBS leader in his over 5,000 career receiving yards with the number 84 on his back. In this case, the player didn't choose the number, the number chose the player. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let's watch another one now. Come on, you got it.